Dr. Kim Hammond from Falls Road Animal Hospital is here to answer your pet questions with the most adorable little puppy, Hawthorne. <laughs> this we is like Hawthorne looking at pup. your face, but his face is priceless. We look the same, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we have the same There's nose. There's a little resemblance. Same nose, what? same tan. How old is he? He's about 11 weeks old, and he is the... He, Sweet. <laughs> I mean, this is yeah. the ferocity of this dog. I know, I, have to I know. I'm seriously, I have to take the hit in case he gets rough <laughs> and tries to lick to you him, to death. Hold on to him, please. All right, you how know, about some questions? Sarah, there, uh, there's a little live late breaking news. We yeah. actually had a positive rabid raccoon in Baltimore County and it's a very serious thing. You know, we're all letting our dogs out this time of year to run free and so on and so forth and take them in the parks. Please make sure your animals are up to date on their rabies vaccine. Good advice. And if you have a bite wound of unknown origin, you go to your veterinarian and you get a rabies booster and you'll be fine. I'm glad you mentioned that. Yep. All right, let's get to okay. some questions. This one, I have a 12-year-old male greyhound. It appears his hips and back legs are bothering him. Is there something I can give him to help? Is that pretty common in greyhounds? Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe there is something you can give, but I think what you have to do is take it uh, a, a step further and diagnose it. You have to look and see if there's some sort of orthopedic problem there because the, the treatment's really going to depend on the problem. So diagnose the problem. A 12-year-old greyhound, you know, we're getting a little old and stiff. Right. You know, that's a lot of years of running. So certainly go to your veterinarian, get it x-rayed, get it examined, check the ligaments to make sure the ligaments are okay, okay. and then treat accordingly. All right. Okay. My five-month-old English bulldog puppy is doing very well in house treatment. Training. He sits at the door when he needs to go outside, but unless we are watching for him, we won't know. Any tips for getting him to alert us in an audible way? I do have a tip. Do you? My wife isn't going to be happy about this because my dogs are impossibly poorly house trained. Yeah. So what I did is I took a large uh, set of Christmas bells mm -hmm. and I hung them on the doorknob. And now when my dog goes to the door, he hits the Christmas bells and I hear oh, it wherever I am, go. even in the middle of the night. And I get up and let him out. Great idea. Yeah, That'll so work. Yeah. Okay, well. here's one about a cat. I have a male cat that's only a year old. When he's in the litter box, he goes to the bathroom. But why doesn't he cover his business up when he's done? Uh, why not? Guess, guess we got to ask him. <laughs> We need a cat that's psychologist. A, that's a tough question for me to answer because, you know, some cats just, I don't know. Handle they, it differently. They handle their poo differently. Okay. What can I say? That's Fair a, enough. Yeah. Thank you very I, much. <laughs>